We're doing pretty well so far trying to kick Portugal out of South Africa, and it seems like both Germany and Nationalist Spain are gonna kick them out of Iberia as well. I'm also just producing a lot more. Um, you know, we've really started to, to get the ball rolling here as, a, as our massive, I guess, nationalist South African nation. Not really that massive, but eventually we will be. And uh, we're getting access to more territory and, and getting down. Uh, we're going to get a new technology slot, so we'll have five technology slots very soon. So then we'll be able to catch up to most of the world. I think we're going to be a pretty modern nation by uh, the 19, like about, I'm sorry, 1945 or something like that. Should be around there. Um, okay, so uh, good. So we took out the uh, the Asian, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but uh, yeah, right here. So they were communists. Don't they typically go uh, and join the common turn? I'm pretty sure they do. Still trying to defeat these guys. These, mo wait, where are they at? Oh, did they, oh, we got them. Okay, nice. So there was, uh, there was like, like eight divisions that just, I think, I think they probably didn't have a supply line or something. Well, we killed them. Good. Now, do you have access to a naval base? Or did you lose it too? Or am I just blind? Because I definitely, definitely am. No, I don't see it. Where did that naval base go? It's, it's down here. I thought they had a route to escape. These guys might not either. Oh, that's bad. So we're about to just completely wipe multiple, like a good, maybe 20 divisions. Yeah? Because there was like eight here. This is seven. So Drew, that'd be 15. But unless unless they did somehow leave that out and I wasn't paying attention, that is uh, definitely... Definitely a possibility. Okay, so let's also continue to decrease research time by 5% and then a new research slot. Oh, man, this is good. This is this is really good. Okay, so now we're in a good position or we're in an interesting position because I don't know who we're going to attack. Um, I guess I could go after this location. I could go after the UK and um, and try to get, get, them, get them out of the Arabian Peninsula. I wouldn't mind that at all. I still want to help free India. And I also want... Oh, see, the Americans are over here. That is the problem. That is a pretty big problem. And I want to help Japan finally defeat China. we got to get China out of this game. That way Japan can... Well, I don't know if that's a good idea, actually, because more than likely the AI will then declare war on the Australian-American faction, and that will not go so well. I do not want to take on UK and America at the same time, because the AI is dumb, and they make mistakes, and uh, something bad could really really happen all right so are you guys going yeah you guys are supposedly going everything's going well i guess so so what am i gonna do with these, these guys i've got 13 divisions just kind of chilling are you not suffering from any attrition i guess not that's weird i feel like you should be okay so uh oh man this is gonna get taken out huh we already have a few a handful of troops over this way Hmm. I don't think we can't move through Saudi territory and I can't cross over to here. Ah. Uh, let's see. I don't I don't really know what to do with these troops then. Maybe we'll have them sit. I mean, I'm still trying to catch up on uh on infantry equipment, which I'm actually doing well now cuz we finally are not engaging in in so many so many battles around the world. Well, we just lost a whole bunch. But after after this, we'll we'll be we'll be better. We're defending. We're defending. It's okay. It's okay, so it's it's worth it, kind of. Uh, still have a good chunk of manpower. Yeah, again, I can always scrape the barrel if I need to, if I absolutely need to. So I'm guessing that we can't just all attack. Last time I tried that, that didn't work out too well. All right, hold on. So we just got another research, uh, another research slot. Should we start? I think we might need to start going after other things. Or you know what? I still haven't done any of this stuff. Okay, let's let's start doing kind of the army side of things. It's not super exciting, but it might be fun. Okay, just just go forward. I mean, that looks like it looks like it's going to be a major success. I don't. Maybe I should have done this a little bit earlier. And uh, let's do something with our extra research slot. I'm thinking paratroopers, maybe, uh, or I should kind of discover better fighters too. That wouldn't be bad either. I don't think. Factory repair speed. Um, mate, no, I mean, again, I, I don't know if we're going to be taking over much more land. Let, let's go for it. Let's go with the hurricane. Let's go with some more fighters. Because I'll, I'll be making, I think I'll be making more fighters very soon. Yeah, yeah, we will. Okay, so soon enough. So everyone come here and, and we got them. They're dead. Nice. All right, now, um, we need to somehow help. We've got to help invade the UK. 
that's it. So Germany's going to take out Denmark. They're probably going to have an easy time. Oh, see, this is bad right here. This is the this is the Achilles heel of Nazi Germany. Every single time, they always get invaded from this spot all the time. And uh, and again, the American the Americans are not here. I think they're more concerned about stopping Free India, which I should maybe do as well. I mean, I could go over there. No, I can't. Wait a second. Isn't oh that oh that's perfect. So so Hitler should start invading India from the north down. Uh, but he's also distracted by all this other stuff. So that's kind of tough. New Afghan uh, Khan, Khanite, Khanite. Did they just... Wait, what? Oh, be they became fascist. I see. Okay. I didn't know if there was another civil war that broke out or, or what exactly was happening. Well, that's perfect. So get them to join the war. They, they're in the war. Very nice. All right. Cool. So they're going to help out Free India a little bit more. Get Portugal out of there, too. Got to get Portugal Portugal out. Out, out, out. Okay, now we're just going to... Now we're just going to chill. There's Portugal. They've already capitulated. Perfect. Perfect. Good. National Spain. Hey, you can take over all of Iberia. That is totally fine if you if you want to. I will give you all of that. Okay, so what did we just... What did we just get? It's only 1941 still. You know what? Have I been doing... Have I been keeping a hold of... Uh, Kind of. I mean, I guess we could go after another motorized division, even though I, I don't really have the resources right now for any of that stuff. Or maybe some stronger support battalions. At the at the moment, I, I do have a, a, a I have a, a surplus of support equipment, but I'm pretty sure if I add and I start if I start changing around my divisions, it's gonna be bad. It would more than likely be pretty bad. All right, you know what? Let's go after another land doctrine. We've got five of these suckers. We'll catch up. Just give us some time. Just give us some time, baby. All right, then let me, uh, I don't, I still don't know what to do. I mean, everyone has, uh, all my generals have a, uh, a limit. I could, I could promote the, oh, look at Free India helping out China since they, since they took out the Portuguese land that's over here. Yeah, that's, that's some really good news. And boom, even more. So, legionnaires. Legionnaires Bulgaria, Bulgaria, right? Yes. And maybe you can help finally Italy take down Greece. Because Greece, I don't know how Greece was surviving for so long. I mean, even Turkey couldn't take them down. I don't, I don't know how that was how that was possible. All right, so if we look at the scope of things, first of all, China has only a few VPs left, so that's good. Uh, we get them out of the war. Well, uh, that's the thing. That will begin pretty much. That'll be like a few more months, and then our uh, our war against America will probably start. Ooh, we're seeing some resistance. Oh, that's a first. How bad is it? Okay, it's not it's not bad at all. But I'm wondering if that is going to spread. Resistance strength. All right, you know what? Here, let's get let's get some divisions up there. Have them garrison. I know that what we need what we need is military police, technically. But um but this will this will work for now. So you guys get up there real quick. Stop the resistance from growing at all. Let's let's have these guys. I mean it's not a very it's not a huge amount of troops, but uh what? I'm not doing the wrong Oh, I am doing the wrong guys. Yeah, okay, so you guys over here, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Come over here, help them out. I don't know what's going on. Can we go after uh, Liberia too? I wouldn't mind that. I don't think I can fabricate a claim though, because they're... Oh, I can. Is it really worth it though, Drew? That's the next question you need to ask yourself. I don't think it's worth it. So, we need to strike up a deal with Italy or something, because we, we need them to go back to, to Europe or something. Denmark has capitulated good. Um, we need to go, to go back to Europe. Or at least have, you know, they can have all the Sahara, but I want all of Sub-Saharan Africa. All of it. That's, I don't know if we can strike up that deal. I don't think so. Because they took over French lands, that's why, and it's technically theirs, I guess. Uh, no, we want to skip out on all this. We should be making, here, let's, uh, I don't know if I want any of this stuff. No, can't do any of that yet. Naval Doctrine, Air Doctrine? 
I don't think I don't think we really have the uh here, you know what? I will go military police. There we go. Let's go for the second. I mean, we already have one, but let's go for the second version of that. Hey, my puppets have not been doing all that good, I will say. I mean, it's only Vietnam that can that can fight the Empire of Vietnam, I should say. Oh, they're doing okay. Never mind. They actually made some progress. Good for them. Yeah, that's really good for them. How many convoys do I have? That's the next question. I've got 50. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Maybe this is a little bit crazy. Maybe this is dumb. I'm going to get you guys. Hold on. You guys come and join. And uh, let's get all of you. Let's see if we can help them out. Boom. Get over here. How long would that take, first of all? I have no idea how long that's going to take. We only have a few convoys that can transport those guys over there, right? Only a handful. Okay, so what do we get? We got extra army experience, I believe. Research for infantry equipment. That's fine. Even though I, I've, I'm doing pretty good infantry equipment. Technology-wise, I mean, I need more infantry equipment. But tech-wise, I'm yeah, I'm okay. There's extra convoys. We're making point one. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Point one. Okay, so they're coming over. All right, this was a good idea. Maybe I should have done this earlier. That way, at least I can, uh, you know, help out a little bit. Maybe maybe get maybe get some land too. They're willing to give me some land. Okay, so you know what? Let's get after let's go after all the support battalions. It's kind of crazy that we don't have any of that stuff since this it's only 1941, so there's nothing else that we can do. I need to be careful because if the UK have ships here, we're this is going to be a disaster. We could lose a few divisions. Oh jeez, I don't I I don't know. I think I'm I'm going to hold on to this stuff. Because I might change my... I could change my conscription law. Because what are we doing right now? We're doing like 10%. Yeah, I could go all adult serve. But let's let's wait. Let's wait on that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, you guys. Watch it there. I mean, we're already, we're already over here. What, I just don't know what the AI does or is doing. As long as we can play the defense. The defensive game. All right, so I'm assuming the resist, resist, resistance is done. Yeah, I mean, just a few handful of troops, and we kind of stopped any sort of this, whatever this nonsense resistance is. Oh, uh-oh. Are we okay? I think we're okay. No, we lost a division. Yep, I should have thought, should have recognized that. Well, hold on. We know that China, hold on, maybe we should switch this up. And instead of pushing through China, if we're going to land in India, then maybe just get along the Indian front. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's switch it up. I know I'm switching it up on these guys last minute. They're like, what the hell, dude? Like, these guys, did they, these guys make it? Yeah. No, no, that's, that's somebody else. But I, I know that China's done. That's kind of safe to say. I don't know. I want to keep free India alive. That's what everyone wants. So I, I should do that. Everyone in the comment section is like, keep free India alive at all costs. So I'll try. It's Australia. You better get out of here, Australia. Nobody wants none of, of that right now. Okay, no, just, just go forward, please. There you go. Take him down. So he's going to run away, I think. Yeah, he's gone. And uh, there you go. See? See? Sometimes you just got to push the AI a little bit further. We can get a hold of this terrain. There we go. So, boom. We just cut them off. They're dead. And uh, you're going to go straight through here. And we'll begin that. All right. So, let's also give it... Oh, we lost two divisions. I th I still think it was worth it to at least, you know, make them do something. All right. And then let's, let's give them a plan. Okay. Now, go for it. Now, go for it. So, we have the Nazis attacking from the north down from New Afghanistan. And you guys just begin. I mean, we've got the British that are pretty much the only support that India has at this point. Boom, there we go. You just worry about stopping Portugal. I'll just I'll just push I'm, uh, excuse me, I'll just push India straight out. Whoa, more resistance. Okay, so then I'm going to start splitting these guys up. We need to We brought here. Don't worry about this area anymore either. Okay, so should we start making some uh, some military police or something? 
Division designer. Wait a second. Hold on. Where is uh, click to view templates? Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I've got Marines now too, which is something here. You know what? We don't we we don't use this. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with my district, my my little brigade thingy here. I mean, all I'm all I'm looking for is uh, to edit this military police, baby. Okay, and that's it. That's all. I, that's all I want. I mean, you you guys can we'll just remove this. And is there any other support battalions that I I might need? No. I mean, that's that's about it. I don't know if I'm. I I feel like I I don't know. If, I thought military police would go on, on the right side. I thought you could make multiple. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but I remember doing it in my uh, my U.S. playthrough, kind of resisting Canada. All right, let's uh, let's. I just want to train like one division. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, that's that's all I want. One division at a time, not very much. Should we go with a few Marines too? I mean, I mean, I've got the equipment now where I can start to here. I I will. You know, what I do want. Oh, uh, I don't know about motorized. Does motorized even matter anymore? I and mean, that's the only thing that I'm uh, up to date on technology wise. Let's go with the Marine. I'll go with one Marine, and I don't know, one Mountaineer Division or something, I I, I guess. I mean, because we're doing fine elsewhere, right? Uh-oh, holy crap, I missed out on that. Where did you guys come from? All right, so I need to focus again. Drew, you need to focus. Okay, keep giving me these research bonuses. Um, let's see. Do I have anything back here? I've got these guys that are trying to trying to go in garrison. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them alone. Let's see here. I don't know how many divisions are over this way, but we should be okay. I just need to focus on on winning in this front. I mean, I could take a few. I could I could take the garrison troops away first of all. Let's let's beat this. Let's beat this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch this up because I don't I don't know how much <laughs> I don't want I don't want to lose everything here. Kind of worried about that. So we'll we'll experience a little bit more resistance, but that's okay. So just bring it on down. Bring it on down. It shouldn't. Yeah, that I don't think you should require more divisions than that. And uh, is that New Zealand? New, is it New Zealand for some reason here? That's uh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, you guys are still coming. China has like three, four months left. I feel like China's got three or four months left, and then and then they're done. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there. We're helping free India. Uh, we gotta stop this naval invasion, and then we're gonna kick the last part of the Allies out of uh, of Western Africa in the next video. And then slowly, I think when we get a stronger hold over Africa, I think I might send more divisions to the Chinese front and the Indian front so that we can help out some of our allies in the East Coast or on the East side of the uh, old world, I guess you could say. Because remember, I have a stake in all that. I've got that territory in Indochina that I want to make sure is, is good because I'm going to start constructing things over there. So uh, that's pretty important. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.